Welcome back to our general mathematics class. This is our lesson 14 for week 7 of second quarter. A topic is simple and compound propositions. And our learning competency for this lesson, the learner distinguishes between simple and compound propositions. In our previous lesson, we define logic as the study of reasoning. Six the rules and principles of how people should reason correctly and rationally. And proposition is a declarative sentence that can be classified as true or false, but not both. There are two kinds of proposition. We have the simple proposition. It is a proposition that conveys one thought with no logical connector. It cannot be broken down any further into other component propositions. For example, tomorrow is another day. So there is only one thought. The next one is compound proposition. It is a proposition formed from simple proposition using logical connectors or some combination of logical connectors. For example of this, Donna is doing great in language, but she is having difficulty in math. So the word but here connect to simple, connect, simple proposition. That is the first proposition here is Donna is doing great in language. And the second proposition here is she is having difficulty in mathematics. So therefore, the word but is the connector. Some logical connectors involving propositions P, P is denoted as proposition, and or Q, Q denoted as the second proposition, may be expressed as follows. Not P or the first proposition. P or the first proposition and the second proposition Q. The first proposition P or the second proposition Q. If the first proposition P, then the second proposition Q. So therefore, the connectors used here are not, and, or, if, and then. So these are the connectors used to connect more than one propositions. Now let's try to determine whether sim it is simple or compound. If it is compound proposition, identify the simple components. Mathematics is challenging. So this is a simple proposition. Either logic is fun and interesting or it is boring. So this is a compound proposition because of the word and and or. So the word and or connect more than two simple components. The first simple component which is denoted as A is logic is fun. Then the second simple component which is denoted by B is logic is interesting. And the third simple component is logic is boring. So therefore, the connector used here is and and or. Next, it is not the case that the square root of 2 is a rational number. So this is a simple proposition. If you study hard, then you will get good grades. So this is a compound proposition because of the word then. Then connect two simple components. The first simple component is, which is denoted by G, is you study hard. Then the second simple component, which is denoted as H, is you get good grades. So the connector used here is the word then. Next, 2 is the smallest prime number. So this is a simple proposition. If you have a driver's license, then you can drive. So this is a compound proposition because of the word then. The word then connect two simple components. The first component, see you have a driver's 
license. And the second simple component is you can drive. So therefore, the connector used here is then. For your activity, let's just check my understanding. You're going to determine whether the following statements are simple or compound propositions. Number one, either one is an even number or four is a perfect square. Number two, the immune system of my body is important in this time of pandemic. Number three, the sum of two even numbers always even. Four, either logic is fun and interesting or it is challenging. For activity two, that is deep in your understanding. Determine whether the following statements are proposition. If it is compound, identify the simple components and the logical connector. Number one, if your score is more than two, then you will pass the subject. Number two, Anna's average is at least 90 and she's getting an academic award. Number three, the square of an odd number is not even. Number four, a password must be at least six characters or it must be at least eight characters. For activity to read, I understand. Given the following statements, simple propositions, construct compound propositions by adding another simple proposition. Use any connector. Number one, I often wash my hands. Number two, I study my lesson using my phone. Number three, a proposition is simple. Four, my favorite subject is mathematics. And for your reflection, you're going to write in a separate sheet of paper, what simple lesson have you learned from the topic? So before we end, let me share this quotation according to Raymond Faist. Never accept the proposition that just because a solution satisfies a problem that it must be the only solution. Again, this is Teacher Riza. Please don't forget to like and subscribe by pressing the button of subscribe. And that's all for today. Thank you. Have a nice day.